How's it going, comic book fans and Star Wars lovers? I'm Joe from Joe's Comic Talk. Uh, for you new subscribers, I'm a huge comic book fan. I've been collecting for over 30 years, so I've been just, I collect different comic books and I got uh, different uh, comics in my collection. So I'm going to, for Vintage Saturday, I thought I'd show you guys uh, some cool Star Wars comics from from my collection. So first of all, I want to show you guys the Star Wars uh, number 31, uh, volume 1 on uh, 1980. Uh, it's in very fine condition, or about 8 out of 10. I paid $2 for this one, so not a bad pickup. Um, it's going about 10 to 15 on eBay uh, uh, in US dollars right now, so pretty pretty cool. So I, such a cool story. Uh, Lucas on Tatooine, and as you can see, he's with RTD2 and C3PO. Uh, the store, the, the, Empires on Tatooine looking for the rebels. So, uh, such a cool story. I mean, it, we all like Star Wars. It's in not bad condition. Uh, it's, like I say, it's not a high, high grade coffee, but it's still a higher grade coffee. So, like I it is about 8 out of, 10, out of 10 or in very fine uh, condition, which is pretty cool. So, we're all fans of Star Wars. Uh, it's gone through various publications, uh, DC, uh, Dark Horse, but I do have some cool Marvel uh, ones which are considered ventures. Uh, uh, these are harder to get uh, books. I do try and pick them off whenever I can, but uh, they are hard to find in the wild. So what do you think? Do you guys have this story? Do you have not? Um, the the story is also reprinted in lots of trade paperbacks as well and then the obvious uh trade paperbacks which are huge huge books so if you guys don't have this comic you can find it in trade paperbacks as well so another cool star wars book is number 67 uh, uh dated 1982 uh cover price is 60 cents imagine paying 60 cents uh way back in the day so all your favorite characters are on here uh c3po uh, RTD2 at uh, Chewbacca. So this one takes place where um, they are trying to uh, get uh, Han Solo from Jabba the Hutt. So it's kind of in the Return of the Jedi era movie. So uh, the Rebels don't have Han back yet, but they are trying making an attempt to uh, get him. So Luke, I guess Luke would be on his way to Jabba's uh, palace. So this there this is reprinted again in the Ambiens, uh trade paperback. So there are lots of uh, reprinted stories for these older uh, Star Wars books. If you don't have to to have this coffee, I think this is cool. Cool. I did pay six dollars for it because I did get pick it up in a comic book store when I was on holidays a little while ago. So it was sitting in, in with a bunch of other Star Wars books, and I happened to see this one and so for six bucks it's not a bad price but i've seen it selling on ebay in this condition about ten dollars us so i think i did okay the comic book store that i did go to i don't think they changed their prices all that often so uh i think i scored with this i mean if you can get a star wars book for like six bucks and under that i think you're doing uh pretty good so Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of these Star Wars books. Like I say, they are harder to find, but it's such a cool uh, cover with uh, C-3PO and RTD2 on, on here. I thought I this would be a cool one to show you guys. So the next one is Star Wars 82, um, 1984. And, and again, uh, cover price is 60 cents. So uh, inflation has really gone up in um for how old this book is it's in really good condition um is uh if it was a 9.4 it'd be valued about 16 16 to 20 us i paid about five bucks for this uh for this book so i think for the condition it then i think i did okay it's in in fine condition or about seven out of ten on the scale so what do you guys think? Do you th think it's in not bad condition? Uh, there's no wear and tear or anything like that. Uh, there's the um, full, co uh, full cover on it. It's pretty cool. 
Uh, there's a few action scenes in this comic with Luke Cannon's lightsaber uh, against the stormtroopers. So, uh, lots of action, lots of lightsabers in the first few panels. So, really cool. I'll actually take it out of the uh, uh, bag and board. And I'll show you guys the first couple uh, panels of it because it's such a uh, awesome book. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, I think the front page is my favorite because Lucas with his lightsaber. So it, he said the force uh, going after the stormtroopers. So it, again, there's lots of uh, fighting and yeah, he's trying to defend himself from rock throwing. So pretty cool. Like I say, for how old this book is, it's not bad condition. Um, you would almost think it's a 9.4, but it's... There's a little, some wear and tear on here, here, like I say, so it is what it is. Uh, but it's still a very good copy, and I'm glad to have it in my collection. Uh, for, like I say, I don't have a lot of these Star Wars books. I wish I did, but um, it did go for till 108 issues, so that's not bad for uh, way back in there. So ne next copy I want to show you guys is uh, number 84. I kind of like this green copy where, with Han on it uh, and a bad guy uh, trying to get Han. Um, it's in very fine or 8 out of 10. There is a little bit of uh, crease in the corner there as you guys can see. Uh, again, I paid 5 bucks for this so I'm pr pretty happy with it. But still, um, it, if this was an, again a 9.4 or higher, it would be about a $20 book. But I seen it selling on e again on eBay for about uh ten to fifteen on in the current condition that my copy is. I actually found this on the comic book shop that I uh sometimes order from. They ended up getting a copy, so I paid uh five bucks for it. it this I bought it last year, so it's kind of newer to my collection, which is uh so cool. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, there is a little bit of a, uh, uh, like a tear, not, not a tear, but a crease in the corner. So that dramatically brings the, uh, gray down. So it is what it is. But as you can see, you got Chewbacca and Han. So it's a kind of a Han Solo type, uh, story. Um, and yeah, I seen, I seen a sold one in the, get this, for about 20 US on eBay, so pretty cool. Um, another one I want to show you guys is number 89, uh, cover price 60 cents. Uh, again, I paid five bucks for this, uh, selling on eBay for about 10 to 15 dollars. Is it not bad condition? As you guys can see, uh, um, there's a couple creases in it, especially this bottom corner. There's a little bit of a crease there. But such a cool cover with Lou Candace lightsaber and a monster trying to uh, get him. Um, the, this comic takes place um, before Return of the Jedi it, it, or after the Return of the Jedi, Vader is gone. So it, now we're taking place uh, after the three original uh, movies as the comic gets um, further in the numbers. So it's pretty cool. as. Uh, that these com comments are now taking place after the movies and before the Force Awakens. So it's still in new uh, timeline. So what do you guys think? Do you like these old stars? Do you not like them? I think they're so cool. And like I say, I do try and uh, get them when, when I can. So next one I want to show, I'm going to try and go in order here. Uh, number 93 with Luke and Han on the cover and a bunch of uh, bad guys. Um, trying to to get them because they are they don't like what they're uh doing so uh again this is uh such a cool uh story is uh 1985 i believe i don't have it uh read it down but as you can see all your favorite characters are here uh uh Chewie, han luke and Leia are on this story so pretty cool i uh, love this uh red red cover uh what do you guys think do you have, have this issue or do you not? But again, all of these stories are re reprinted in Omnia's uh, covers, uh, trade paperbacks, and there's uh, reprinted stories that you can find. You can probably find them on online on the Marvel app because it, it is Marvel. 
So I do have the Marvel Unlimited app, so I can uh, even, even read these online. So Star Wars number 95. Uh, now the price went off a little bit and went to 0. 0.65 cents, whereas this one before was 0. 0. Uh, 0. 0.60. So the price uh, went up a little bit as the years uh, go on, and that seems to have happened for value-wise. So uh, 1985, such a cool cover. Uh, with Luke and Leia and the bad guy uh, after them. So this is after Return of the Jedi. So there's new bad guys com coming. So it's, again, such a cool uh, comic con. We'll take it out of the cover and I'll show you guys uh, the front cover. Uh, it's so, so fun. Uh, the, these first pages usually tell you, gives a description of what's going on. So as you guys can see, is there's... Uh, not bad condition. There's a little bit of scuffle on the uh, top corner, sir. So it does bring the uh, grade down a little bit. Again, I paid five bucks for this. So if this was a high, high grade copy, it'll be about a $16 book. But I say it's about a uh, $10 book as it stands. So it's such a cool uh, read. So I suggest uh, getting Star Wars books if you can. I mean, they, they are uh they do take place in between the movies and after the movies so it is uh what it is so again uh star wars 101 now we're uh this we're going into the 1985 so the price again increases on books as time goes on just like everything else i paid four dollars for this book as you can see on the stamp but again the shop that i bought it from there they were just sitting in a bunch of uh, boxes so I pulled this one out and I seen this in the, this in, in current condition uh, is selling about ten ten dollars on in US on eBay so that's pretty good uh, so it, it's about a seven to eight out of ten because there is a little wear and tear on here so I have a feeling when I when I bought it from the comic shop other people pulled, pulled it out of the box and probably uh, probably uh, uh, had their hot hands on it, so it probably got a little bit of wear and tear from even just sitting in the box, which is uh, unfortunate because I do try and buy back issues uh, high grade as I can. So, but if this was a nine four or higher or in near mint condition, it would be about forty dollar but just for uh, because it's coming near the end of the series. So. I, I wish this was a higher grade to show you guys, but it's not. But it's such a fun cover. I, I love the action co cover with Han trying to uh, take the bad guys out with his uh, blaster gun. Um, What do you guys say? Do you think this is a uh, cool cover? So um, what's your favorite cover out of all of these? I, I mean, it's kind of hard to pick, but I kind of like, like this cover. And I like kind of like... Uh, this one where he returns to Tatooine. So there's some cool Star Wars comments. So I thought it'd be a fun video to do for you guys to show you uh, that I do have some Star Wars books and I do have an awesome uh, Star Wars uh, t-shirt on. So uh, I love Star Wars. I love talking about Star Wars. I think, I think we all do. So it's just fun to uh, talk about uh, Star Wars and the movies. I know 7, 8, and 9 did not uh, go over well. I, I kind of like them. I don't know about you guys, but I do like the uh, the original 4, 5, and 6. So it is it is what it is. And we'll, we just have fun talking about Star Wars. So who's your favorite character? Do you like Luke? Do you like Leia? Uh, are, are you a fan of the droids? Do you like the Stormtroopers? Do you not? So it is such a cool uh, thing. So... My final thought for Star Wars is it's a fun fantasy uh, genera. It's a it's a good good sci-fi uh, franchise. I'm looking forward to watching more Star Wars on Disney. I hope you guys have Disney to watch Star Wars. Looking forward to the Mandalorian uh, coming next year. I know we all are. It, it sucks that we have to uh, wait a little bit, but when you add up all these books. Uh, this is a small chunk of the change. I spend a little bit of money on, on Star Wars books. So I, I love Star Wars. And I will uh, post these on my Instagram over the weekend. So you guys can see them on my 
Instagram, and I'll do a shorter version on TikTok at Joel's Comments Table as well. So follow me there. Follow me on Twitter. I, I'm on all social media platforms. So let's have fun. Let's talk Star Wars. And let's, ha let's have fun talking about Star Wars because I am such a uh, huge fan. So thanks, everybody. No YouTube video on Sunday, but I will do another one for uh, Venture Saturday. So looking forward to that and other videos for you guys. So thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend.